Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Are you ready to get another medal? I sure hope you are, because Rick, well, probably won't put up much of a fight. <laughs> I'm Rick, the master of the science club. Science rules nature, that is why it is so strong. Do you wish to test the strengths of science by playing against me? Why, yes I would. Alright, six prizes! Let us begin! The Wonders of Science deck. Now, what I mean about him not really putting up much of a fight is that his deck is... I don't know. It doesn't really have much consistency. It doesn't have much of a strategy. It's just kind of... there. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of bad to say about critiquing someone's deck because it's not really much for reason, but I mean, he's got some solid Pokemon. It's just that they aren't super threatening, <laughs> like, overall. Um, he's got, like, a level 60 version of Mewtwo. I believe it's level 60. Did he put it on? No, he's just got a bunch of Grimers right now. But, uh, the, the, that's probably his best card, is the level 60 Mewtwo. Uh, by the way, that's how you uh, determine, I mean, differentiate between different versions of the same Pokémon, like, by their level and whatnot. That's why I've been putting up the levels of Pokémon off to the side as well. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to start low-kicking this Grimer before it starts paralyzing me, and it's most certainly going to start paralyzing me, and I'm going to be gr grinding my teeth out of great amounts of anger. No, it didn't paralyze me. Okay, I don't have to grind my teeth. No dentures for me in the coming future. <laughs> uh, Magnemite, I'll plop that on the bench. I'll power it up and continue my low-kick barrage. I hope he doesn't get muck out there. Kind of, kind of annoying. Because he's going to start poisoning stuff, and yeah, he's got... I, I, I think he's got Muck, if I'm not mistaken, in his deck. And that'll uh, uh, be a pain for my beginner-type early game deck to handle. And there we go. And plop that on there. And it looks like I'm going to have to call it a turn. <laughs> because I can't really do much while well, those suckers paralyze me, and they are oh, freaking out it. Grimers are a pain. This could be a long game. <laughs> we shall see. It all depends on where. Ah, grinding teeth, dentures, impending. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll get this Charmander going. By the way, I'm holding on to this Charmander in my hand uh, in case I get something that I might want to discard it with for the future, like, say, a computer search, because I've already got a, a Charmander in my hand, I mean, out, out on the field right now anyway, so it doesn't really make much of a difference if I put another one up there. Um, okay, finally. <laughs> I can actually do something! <laughs> yeah, those attacks are really annoying. Even though I'm using kind of the same strategy, so I'm kind of a hypocrite, but... Yeah. <laughs> um, no, wait, actually, I should use the fighting... Yeah, match the colors. Like in case I, uh, I mean, in case he like maybe destroys uh, Pikachu and I lose a lightning energy, and I mean, I, you know, if you use like an energy removal or something like that, and I have to repower up the Pikachu, and yeah, you get what I'm saying here. Low kick. <laughs> I'm talking too much here. I should just get uh, right on with the game. All right, another Grimer, of course. Thank God you're gonna only have four of these in a deck. Oh no. <laughs> I could destroy everything. <laughs> no! Let's keep clicking that A button. Oh, energy removal. Can I get the most out of this? Maybe. Um. Mom. <laughs> Yum. Oh, he's the third Grimer on the freaking bench. And, ah! <laughs> I'll just end my turn. Uh, he could choose to put out um, Weezing, I suppose, and then wipe out Machop, but then, you know, I've got stuff prepared on the back burner. <laughs> so I'm not too worried about Weezing plopping out here, but my Machop is going down. Because <laughs> there's any paralysis that I can't respond to with attacks, and I should probably get Charmander powered up, actually, uh, come to think of it now. Even though I was saving that Lightning Energy for other Lightning Pokémon, I... Yeah, I'm just seeing better potential and getting him prepared on the bench like that. Alright, there goes Machop. 
I think Rattata. I'm thinking Rattata, because it's probably the worst of what I have in my deck, to an extent. Uh, at least I should say what I have currently. Um, 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 okay, let's talk Biting. I'm sort of doing a similar situation to Machop where I'm dishing out uh, 20 damage a turn, but it's a thing of that uh, it's got less HP and that's what makes it worse than a Machop. <laughs> Wait, hold on a sec. Should I be saving this for a potential Arcanine in the future? Maybe. 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 <laughs> I guess I'll hold on to it. And then my turn. Now watch. It's gonna get paralyzed again, then Rattata's gonna get knocked out. Oh god, that's one of the versions of Mewtwo I'm talking about! <laughs> that's a bad Mewtwo. It's a bad kitty! And of course, paralysis again. Yeah. Uh, this is why those Mewtwo's are kind of a pain. Here, I'll show you. Um... Energy Absorption. Choose up to two energy cards from your discard pile and attach them to Mewtwo. That means he'll get a turn two Cyburn that does 40 damage. It's kinda kinda mean there. And it's also got a decent amount of HP as you've seen there. Uh, I should actually smartly start powering up Kangaskhan, come to think of it, because Kangaskhan has a resistance to Psychic. So yeah. Um, I'll call it a turn, I guess. Because <laughs> at the very least, I can use Kangaskhan to stall out uh, his Mewtwo while I get something better out to be able to deal with it than uh, just the current cards that I have right now. But we'll see. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, Charmander. I'll go with it. Oh! <laughs> was not expecting that. Um, but what I should do is rather than attack with Ember to knock out Grimer there, I should uh, wait until I get another energy card. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, I'm just going to use a scratch here and put my faith in the heart of the cards. <laughs> We'll see. Uh-oh. He might explode. Uh-oh. Oh, God! <laughs> I didn't really see that one coming. That's okay. I guess my Charmeleon didn't, didn't get the expected use. <laughs> I was expecting there, but... Oh, uh, well. Just what happens sometimes. I didn't even get to use that fire energy like I planned at all. Uh, I'm gonna use Magnemite here. And, oh, God, here comes the Mewtwo! Here it comes! Uh, what's he got in the dis his discard pile, anyway? Oh, he doesn't have enough uh, psychic energy to use that uh, nasty cyburn attack there. Good! Good! <laughs> hmm. I guess I could get another Charmander ready for a Charmeleon, I suppose. Uh, I'll get Kangaskhan ready to go here. And Thunder Wave? No. Oh man, it's, it's a battle of stalling left and right. <laughs> it feels like, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, Kangaskhan is getting there. Thunder Wave. I'm tempted to, to uh, do a self-destruct myself and uh, just wipe out that Mewtwo next turn because that Mewtwo type is a real pain, as I said before. And if he does get another Psychic Energy, that won't be pretty. Uh, I don't have that Rattata now. Curse you. Uh, who should I energy removal? I mean, who should I energy remove for the future? I'm thinking that I don't have to remove anything at the moment. <laughs> Come to think of it. Um, so, you know what? I'm just gonna. Wait, hold on, hold on. Do I have my defender? I forgot the check. No, I don't. Okay, so. Yeah, if I had a defender, Magnemite would survive this. But I'm ahead one prize card anyway, so. Kaboom! <laughs> Goodbye, Magnemite. You served me well. And... 
gonna knock out that Grimer as well because it, it did, did 10 damage. And remember that one Grimer on his bench had uh, 40 HP of damage to it, leaving it with 10 left over. So I get to choose two prize cards! <laughs> Alright. Oh god, the Grimer's back. Okay, so he's gonna start giving me shenanigans. So I guess I'll put out Kangaskhan. And hope for the best of no paralysis. No! <laughs> Why? It just keeps going on. <laughs> Another turn I can pretty much do nothing about. Uh, although, wait, no! I, could I do something about... No, oh, can I? Can I? Because I got a switch. Uh, can I do three damage with something? I'm probably giving people seizures looking to through my hand and stuff. <laughs> Freaking... It's not funny, but I mean... <laughs> it's just a thing that I'm switching through things frantically, and I'm laughing at myself switching through things frantically. I'm saying it's not funny, um, you know, if I gave people seizures. But I don't think I would, anyway. It's too much of a solid color. Um... Um... I'll just call it a turn. Hopefully, I won't be able to get a bench Pokemon between the turns, and, uh... Okay. Nasty goop. No heads, no heads, no heads! Okay, good. <laughs> this could be the end. This could be the end! No, actually, I know it's the end. I even, I even got a full heal here. Well, um, what I'm maybe doing here is doing that. Well, actually, I shouldn't say I know it is the end, because uh, what I'm gonna have to do here is hope that I get two heads in my Comet Punch here. Chances are I will get two heads out of this. Oh, God. Oh god, no! Oh no! <laughs> that is so rare, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Alright. Alright, at least there's, everyone's getting tails. Everyone's having un an unlucky time. That, that I can at least appreciate a little bit. <laughs> ah, god. Go for it now. Comet Punch. Two heads. Two heads. Two heads! Two heads! One! Yes, I win! Because he doesn't have any more bench Pokémon! I got my science medal! That was a hard worked victory! <laughs> there are, at times, problems even science cannot answer. Here, take this medal. It is a result of our research. Two medals out of eight collected. And let me give you this. Please add this to your collection. Booster packs. He gives you laboratory. Yeah, Pokedex. This isn't uh, too, sh too shabby of a card for manipulating things if you'd like to try it out. Uh, but it might be best for specific decks, perhaps, maybe. But anyway, uh, you know that. Oh, Slowbro, this is an interesting card. Strange behavior lets you move damage counters to, from other Pokémon to it, so it can be sort of used as a damage sponge of sorts. And if you return it to your hand, or say, uh, return the uh, Slowbro and slow, uh, slow poke to your hand in some sort of fashion, it'll remove the damage counters and you can sort of use Slowbro uh, to heal your other Pokémon the way. So, yeah. Uh, Psy uh, Shock also isn't too bad of an attack because of the whole paralysis thing. Uh, you know that, don't you? I'm pretty sure you do. Oh god, the coughing. Uh, there's no such thing as a bad coin flip when you have a coughing. <laughs> mm, different version of Tangela. Mm, it's iffy because it's only got f 50 HP. Uh, I can see what's in the other pack here. Mm, Polyrath. Oh, this is another one of those sorts of kind of Pokemon that uh, might be underestimated at first. Yeah, I'll show you why. Water Gun isn't super good because you'll you'll t need five Water Energy card for uh, I should say five Energy cards for Polygrass Water Gun. Um, well, four Water at max plus one of anything else to get the most out of it. But the thing that you want to use Polyrath for is Whirlpool. You can make your opponent discard Energy cards, so it's like an Energy Removal plus 40 damage. Pretty handy little move there. Uh, Golbats. One of those sorts of kind of healing Pokemon. Like pretty. Oh, oh, Porygon. We know Porygon, don't we? Yeah, it's kind of a weird Pokemon in the trading card game. 
Mm, 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 yeah, oh, I think. Well, oh, yep, yeah, we're all done with. I mean, we, we got all the cards. I mean, we've seen all those cards. Legendary cards are but a legend. Science is the only truth. Or are the legendary cards only a legend? I must continue my research of science Pokemon. Alright, you do that, and I'm going to end off the part here because your stalling tactics took me the entire part to defeat you! <laughs> so with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next part. By the way, don't go through that doorway until you have your deck prepared for a random instant encounter with someone you might already know. So if you need to prepare your deck, battle these guys to get yourself some cards before walking out there, because if you beat the person that's through this door that's waiting for you, You'll get a very special promotional card. Ooh. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Doo -doo!